Today's best play was brought to you directly from a MacBook Pro using the Chrome browser. If only they knew they'd been owned by a Mac. So I'm looking at Boostroid running on the MacBook Pro in the Chrome browser here. So you can see that Cold War did have an issue with shaders for me. You can see here I'm running Mac OS Big Sur. For some reason the shaders just did not complete for me in Cold War and I did retry it a couple of times. But playing with the shaders still not optimised was not the end of the world. As you'll see here from some of the plays, it is extremely smooth playing on Mac. However, I did get occasional stutters here and there. I'm just using the default graphics settings and you can see one of the issues that I was having on the Mac was this occasional freeze. And you see that I got that one to two seconds where it just kind of paused. This happened on and off and before people say, no, I do not have location services enabled. Since Big Sur, this has been on and off in some of the browser streaming versions and Boostroid really suffers from it here and I don't know what to do about it right now. So just for your information and to keep an eye out, it wasn't too often, but it was often enough that it was a bit of an annoyance as I was playing. But as you can see, responsiveness was extremely good. And apart from people getting the drop on me, I was able to play quite well. There was a small amount of input latency while I was playing. There was a very small amount of input latency from where I had quite a lot open on my Mac. And again, you see that freeze every now and then. But for the most part, it was extremely responsive. I was running at 1080p and not an issue here. So although the graphics weren't on the highest, this sort of game you don't run on the highest settings a lot of the time anyway, but being able to play on a MacBook Pro was a huge bonus here. And as you can see, sometimes it just wasn't good enough. But for competitive play, I would probably not recommend it. However, if you're just wanting to jump in, have a bit of fun, or if you're going to do the single player campaign, then it is a fantastic way to play on Mac. If you do dive in, please use the link in the description below to check out Boostroid. It really helps out the channel. And don't forget that Boostroid currently is only available in the EU and UK. However, they are going to be available in America at the end of 2021. So do keep your eye out on that and give it a try, as this is the only way to be able to play Cold War in your browser. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things cloud gaming. And we will see you next time.